if nitrogen is a gas, but it, can it be turned into a solid? Well, Chief Meteorologist Jay Birschback and the Imagination Station's Chief Scientist Carl Nelson are going to find out with the help of a vacuum chamber. Here's this week's Imagine It. Hi again, everybody. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jay Birschback. We're at the Imagination Station along with Carl Nelson. And today, we're dealing with air pressure and the boiling point of liquids. And what you're looking at right now uh, is actually plain water boiling, but it's not at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Exactly. What's going on, Carl? That water is boiling at room temperature. If you've ever traveled somewhere at a higher altitude and had to bake something or cook something, you notice the cooking instructions are a little bit different. Water at higher elevations boils at a lower temperature. Jay, I'm going to have you go ahead and pick that up. Okay. And drink the water that was just about boiling. Okay. That this was is, boiling. This is not 212 degrees, though. No. It's actually room temperature. Delicious. <laughs> boiling does not mean temperature. Changing state into a gas. And water can boil at room temperature. Okay. Liquid nitrogen can boil at 320 degrees. So we have some liquid nitrogen inside the glass jar here. I'm going to go ahead and put that inside our vacuum chamber. We're going to turn the pump back on and remove, I should say, the nitrogen gas that is coming out off the top of that. And it'll clear up as that vapor. Now, nitrogen is boiling. So the interesting thing that's happening here, too, with the vacuum pump, all the really energetic gas molecules are slowly being pulled away by the pump. And if we take away all the molecules of gas that have a lot of energy, hence temperature, yes. we can actually lower the temperature of the liquid nitrogen. And this stuff started out at 320 degrees below zero. It is approaching negative 341 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. There's a lot of heat energy. We've got to remove those high energy molecules and we'll begin to see a solid form of nitrogen begin. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. It's forming solid. We're at the triple point of nitrogen now. 321 wow. degrees below zero. Probably the coldest thing you're ever going to see in your life. Solid nitrogen. Is that not cool? That is so cool. It happened very quickly. It does. Yes. As soon as you remove enough of those energetic molecules, it can drop down in temperature. In fact, even the water you drank earlier was slightly cooler than room temperature because by pumping on something and removing those energetic molecules, you can actually cool the temperature of the liquid. Look at that. That is a very nice clump of solid nitrogen right on the top. Right. It looks like a big ice cube, but it's actually solid, solid nitrogen, nitrogen. Solid which is nitrogen. the most abundant gas in the atmosphere. Correct. Is that correct? correct. Okay. Amazing. So there you have it. Solid nitrogen inside a vacuum chamber. Well, make people think differently about boiling. Next time yes. they boil some water. It's not uh, about temperature. Right. All about change of state. And we're just changing the pressure. This is not heating or cooling the device via a heating element or a cooling element. Just removing the air. Removing those energetic molecules, dropping the temperature of the overall system. That is so cool. That's a nice And still one. going. Still going. Wonderful. All right. Thank you so All much. Right. A very neat experiment. For Carl Nelson, I'm Chief Meteorologist Jay Birschback. That was Imagine It. I bet that guy could make a black hole if he wanted. All right, here's how to check out some of the more experiments. You can head over to the Imagination Station and see them for yourself. They are open from 10 to 5. Remember, today, Lucas County kids, 12 and under, get in free with an adult.